Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new save file. New save file. I'm just so used to the Isaac intro, I'm sorry. Anyways, the new Nuclear Throne episode. We're going to be playing as the Elementor this episode. Stronger Lightning, Frost, Fire and Kraken. Terraform at the cost of ammo. Seems very interesting. I... Oh! Ooh, okay, I like that. That's cool. <clears throat> It seems to cost a lot of ammo. I like the fact that he starts with uh, lightning as well. I was actually saying the other day about, I really also look at the changing colours. And also, look at the amazing thumbnail. Oh my god, amazing stuff. You guys have been killing it with your thumbnail art. It's just awesome. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I, I still think there should be a mutation that um, increases the exact same things as this. Uh, like lightning, crack and all that sort of stuff. And I think that'd be super fun to see. Um, let's go with Strong Spirit off the bat to try and actually have a bit of a longer run into this guy. I didn't actually look at what we needed to do for the alternate skin, so when we inevitably die an early and gruesome death, I'll take a little look at what, um, what it's saying about those and see if we can try and aim for one. But maybe, maybe just maybe we'll get one or two by accident, just by living <clears throat> for a certain amount of time. But normally... With the modded characters, there's pretty specific things you have to do, so I doubt it. Also, I'm definitely noticing how much stronger lightning is, because normally this thing sucks, and I am wrecking everything with it. It seems to have a lot longer range, and uh, the damage it's doing seems to be a lot more consistent. So, very, very happy with this thus far, and yeah, i got to say... Just absolutely love the fact that this guy changes colour. I'm not exactly sure where or when I'm going to use ter terraforming to my advantage. I I'll be honest, it... A lot of the abilities in Nuclear Throne I don't use a lot, so it might be another one of those ones that I don't really end up using a ton. Um, but it's, it's a nice option to have because it allows you to uh, make some make some other moves in areas that look a bit sketchy. If you want to sort of make your way around a bunch of enemies or something sort of thing. Frost Pistol. Oh, I'll take a Frost Pistol. For right now, Lightning is my life. <clears throat> but yeah, there's like a shortcut you can take and you don't have an explosive weapon, it seems like this could be a, a decent way about doing that. Good, I like the way the lightning lingers for a little bit, but there you go. Through this floor very quickly. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Open mind is always fun. I'll take open mind. By the way, I've seen people in the comments and on the uh, Ultra Discord talking about the fact that I often will leave higher tier weapons for lower tier weapons on purpose. And for, for me, it's just, I'm, I'm less so like trying to play optimally and go for like the best run I can get. More so just trying to like play with weapons that I enjoy. Uh, and if I find a cool synergy with a specific weapon, then I tend to use it a lot. Like for example, this weapon's probably not the best weapon that I've got like so far. Probably the Frost Pistol will do a better job or the Slugger, but I'm just enjoying using it. And so... While it's still viable, I'm going to keep using it. Now, it won't be viable forever, obviously, but while it currently still is, I will keep to, I will keep using it. Also, inverted floor, very nice. Wrong direction is pretty good for the boss, because it's, uh, it fires the, the big shot. Okay, I think Strong Spirit just went off there, so let's be slightly cautious of that. Okay, unfortunate there. Unfortunate. Anyways, so let's just go back to the menu real quick and uh, take a little look what we've got going on for the skins of this dude. So we've got <clears throat> um, Ben, a frozen enemy. That's pretty easy. Um, complete a main area after the sewers without firing. I don't know how that's going to be done. Okay, we, we've we've got our we've got our ways though. So, Ben, a, free, uh, a frozen enemy, seems very easy, to be honest. Um, we just need a fire weapon and a freeze weapon, or preferably one that does both. Um, and the, the other one, there's, there's certain ways I can picture it happening, but right off the bat, top of my head, I'm not sure the most ideal way <clears throat> to go about not firing. Um, because Kraken is improved, I'm going to take alien testing, because alien testing used Kraken shot, I believe. It's going to cost us a little bit more. Wait. Oh, we can create walls as well. Okay, that changes things a bit. This becomes <clears throat> a little more useful than I initially thought. Because now we can actually set up cover. Which I very much like the idea of. <clears throat> wow. 
Just annihilated that guy. <clears throat> I apologize if I'm coughing a little bit. I've just eaten and it's always a little bit rough when I've just eaten. I'm gonna go with this because um, even more electric damage sounds like a lot of fun as this guy. Oh shit, there was a, a dude on my tail there that I didn't realize. Toxic Revolver. <clears throat> no thank you for right now. Another inverted floor here. Wasn't expecting that, but certainly welcome. And yeah, let's go with Gamma Guts here. Go with shotgun on this bad boy. Good old mini lightning pistol with a bit of shotgun on it. <clears throat> I like that. Bit of a bouncer shotgun there. Good, good. Okay. Got through that. Health not looking great. These are the floors we're meant to do without firing. With Basically, I'm thinking Gamma Guts and um, Alien Intestine will be the best way to do this, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't want to say I've cracked it for sure, because I'm not entirely sure I have. We've only got two health right now, so I'm being very overly cautious. Hey, Golden Flag, that's a very good golden weapon as well. Flag gun's pretty strong. <clears throat> Finally got some HP here. Okay, let's try and use just alien intestines and stuff then. Um, on this floor. Good start. Right, Gamma Guts to kill all these guys. This is going to be rough. <clears throat> Here we are, a lot of waiting around here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not as much waiting around as I thought. Right, is that done? I didn't fire. Hey, there you go. Okay, that was very easy. Alien and uh, alien intestines is just insanely good. Especially when you've got uh, the electric thing buffing it. And this character also buffing it. I, I think the, um... It counts as electric ammo, so I think Kraken... I don't know. I don't know what Kraken classes as. I don't know if it counts as, like... An uh, energy weapon. Sword gun is a lot of fun. I'm gonna take sword gun. I'm gonna take and use sword gun. Um... Rich metabolism's good. There you go. Finally dead. <clears throat> Took longer than I expected to do that, but there you go. <clears throat> yeah, look at that. That's a just beautiful. Yeah, if you can get the sword gun with um, bolt marrow, very, very nice. I just really like it as a weapon. Weapons go. This one do be pretty sick. Found it very difficult to take out that car there, but got there eventually. <clears throat> Still only level 6 though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait here for um, alien intestines to charge up a little bit. Yeah, got like 4 enemies there. Kinda like the way the walls fade away after time though, stop it being too powerful. Because imagine that on like the throne boss, if you could just like create a wall that stays there. And he can't destroy. Nice, I'm loving the setup we got going on right now. It is doing a mighty good job. <clears throat> throne-wise, should we take a throne? 
Euphoria is kind of good here. I could take a throne. Let's see what we want to go for here. <clears throat> um... Yeah, let, let's let's go with the mod stations with the ultra chests at this point. Um, I know that I take that one quite often, but I think that we're getting to the point now where we want to just unlock a bunch of golden weapons for these characters. And that's so far been by far the best way of doing that, so... I did hear my boy here. Yeah. <laughs> oh! He j fucking exploded on me and nuked me. Fair play, my friend. Fair play. You know, the sword, sword gun without but bolt marrow isn't exactly flawless. You can see that it is uh, missing some enemies here and there. Honestly, I don't know why I don't take alien intestines more. It just... When, it, when a character's got a right click that doesn't do much, like, without, like, holding it or something, it's, it, it's a lot better. Nice. I like the way that these count as melee swipes to delete bullets as well, or stop these ones in their tracks. Okay, a little bit claustrophobic here. <clears throat> Probably want a better secondary weapon at this point. This one's not really cutting the cheese for us. Did you just kill yourself? That you did, good sir. That you did. <clears throat> oh, come on now. Just die. Heavy pop gun. We'll take that. Rhino skins. Pretty good contender here, but... I'm going to take Tough Shell instead, though. <clears throat> Okay, this thing's not doing a great job right now with these guys. <clears throat> Whip out the heavy pop gun. The only thing about the heavy pop gun is I kind of need its ammo for the big boss when, uh, when the bat boy rolls around, because he's going to take up a lot of ammo. Leecher. Maybe I'll take that instead. Kind of put myself in a rough spot here. Yeah, this is not good. 340 HP you have, aroundabouts. Okay, I've got, got the Leecher now. <clears throat> I've not really messed around with the Leecher enough to know how good it is, but I think it can heal you. I'm not sure. We'll find out as we progress. So far, I've got a decent assortment of stuff, though. I'm liking it. So it's like a delayed... Delayed death for the enemy, but good healing for us. I like it. It's good. These these big dog boys have about 150 HP by the looks of it. Like one of those isn't going to cut it. Two. Not quite. Three. So it did heal us then as well, by the way. So this is a good uh, good toy to have in our arsenal for uh, longevity and in case we need the healing. Better to probably save the ammo and use this thing. But this thing's an ammo eater, so... Skull Breaker. Eh. Skull Breaker I'm not too fond of, to be honest. Yeah, ammo is getting a little bit tricky at this this point in the run. Down we go. Hope we can get a better weapon this floor. Uh, shotgun shoulders. This is a pop gun, so shotgun shoulders would work with this. Yeah, why not? Why not? And the ability to have those shots bounce around for a hell of a lot longer is useful. Hope I can get ammo for the right stuff. 
thank you. That shotgun blast got me. Yeah, I'm very worried for ammo when we come to the actual boss here. Auto seeker pistol, is that going to be better? Than the leecher? I don't actually think it is. I think leecher's better. Kind of a set it and forget it sort of weapon, isn't it? Okay, cool. We've opened this up now. Wait, actually, see if I can get some more rads, because I don't think I have enough rads to open up a chest at the moment. Doubt I'm going to have enough to open the chest in here. It's a darn shame. We'll have a look-see anyways. <clears throat> ah, 46. Oh, 46. God damn it, I'm 4% rads off being able to open that damn thing. Hello. Ho 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 ho! So you're saying there's a chance? There you go. Golden weapons and locks. We got the Hyper Assault Slugger. I think uh, I'll take that. And Hyper Bouncer Rifle. I think I'll take that. I think these are two pretty good Hyper Weapons we've got going for us here. I do have to quickly come and kill this guy. There you go. Not too bad. Not too bad. And I think we just stick with the crown we've got, right? Yep. Frost sword gun. Ooh, baby. That is tempting. I'm going to stick with the frost sword gun. Ammo might be another concern here, but let's, let's just pretend it's not. Because frost sword gun sounds fun. And also... Might enable us to do the sword and fire thing. The fro fro frost and fire thing, sorry. Hundred and twenty a blop here. I don't know how much health this guy has, probably about a two thousand or something. Seems to be enough to get the job done. Okay, nice. We got our ultra. I have no idea what our ultras will involve on this character. You and your projectiles phase through walls. Bigger than um, terraform. Interesting. Cool everything near to you. Stronger and homing debris. Debris freezes enemies. Your walls create more debris. When destroyed, bigger terraform. Fire trail, more fire damage, fire homes. Your active changes into wind push. Wind pushes projectiles and enemies. Enemies hitting a wall take more damage. Thrown but makes the wind stronger. I'm going to go with the fire so I can do the fire and frost thing. There you go. Done. Felt like that only made sense, right? Uh, also, I think all of my projectiles now have fire attached to them. Fire trails more... Because, yeah, that thing has fire on it now when I fire it, which I wasn't expecting. I thought it was just going to be a trail from me, but I think my projectiles also have a fire trail now as well. So I'm pretty happy with my choice regardless. Especially considering fire homes. Seems like there's some good stuff I've done here. There you go. Look at that. A little shortcut. <laughs> a little shortcut through there. Stay careful here. Split blade gun. No, that's not what I thought it was. Stick with this thing. This just like decimates the entire area. It's so good. Does, does uh, rinse the ammo pretty quick though, you gotta be 
a little careful on the ammo consumption side of things. Super Spiral. Mm. Yeah, I'll definitely be taking that. Thank you. That seems pretty incredible. I right, wait until we're in a bit more of an open area. Nice. This is so cool. With shotgun shoulders, that thing's pretty incredible. Yeah, with shotgun shoulders, I, I certainly like that thing. Got sheep on a stick, no thanks. Is that it? That's not it. What the hell is left? Probably a rat that's managed to like crawl away from this whole mess somehow. Oh, it's a policeman. Get out of here, IDPD. Right, grab all the ammo you can. What the? Okay, I got absolutely memed on there. Anyways, let's say uh, I go back to my menu. Check out our new skins. We've got this one, which is kind of dull. Uh, just some spots on him, but I don't know. It looks kind of interesting. This one, however, I quite like. Little pom-poms on the head. And we did get ourselves a flare gun. So I'll take that. And we'll go for another run. Yeah, starting out with a flare gun's very good. Like, a flare, flare gun's not insane, but... Yeah, with this character getting more fire damage, it's pretty damn good. <laughs> it's one of the better weapons we could have got for a character such as this. Because yeah, all of our fire's doing more. But I, I like it. I'm probably going to end up sticking with a flare gun for a little while here. Um, cheaper terraform your walls to flex any projectiles. Eh, I, I'm, I'm probably, like I said, not going to use the terraform all that much at all, so it's... The, the throne boat doesn't interest me too much on a character like this. Like, the the throne boat's somewhat useful. It is nice, but it's just not something that I see myself using a lot. And granted, that's not because it's bad. It's because I underutilize things like that. I, I realize that. But I will never change. You cannot convince me. Yeah, I'm really liking this with the extra fire damage. It just it, It's just because the fire plume is so huge... Like, it just does so much damage in over such a potentially wide area. It's very, very nice. Morpho Ray will take as a secondary. Why not? Um, Power Craving, maybe? Powder Craving? Power Craving? Whatever it's called. I, I keep thinking it's Powder Craving. Definitely Power Craving. Pop Gun. Pop Pop. With the stainless steel. Lovely. I like the little pom-pom head we got going on right now. This is definitely my favourite skin of the three. We look like a little bit of broccoli. Rainbow deadly broccoli. Yeah, let's take it easy here because we've taken a lot of dumb damage just there. It was a little bit stupid. I like the fact as well that the fire, like trails behind the projectile as you fire it so it can even do more damage on top of that it's, it's quite impressive how much damage this thing can do beautiful stuff um this is kind of a tricky one i think i want to go with scarier face i want this thing to be even more deadly i think i do more poison damage don't i i'm not entirely sure i'm pretty sure i do more poison damage Nice. 
Struggling a little bit with all the snipers here. Poison line is very strong, but also quite deadly for us. I, I think we do more poison damage as well, actually. I'm not entirely sure on that front, but I think we do. Level 5, lovely. Let's hop on down here. Um, Alkaline Saliva seems good. I mean, why not add flame onto our flare gun? <laughs> you can never have too much fire, I guess. And I'm going to take a weird throne here, one that I wouldn't normally take. Let's see. Let's see. Take a little look. Um... Weapons, uh... Every area is dark, enemies can hit each other. That sounds interesting. That each area with 1 HP, 25% chance an enemy starts, spawns within the 10 HP. That sounds really risky, I like it. Okay, it tells us which enemies have the 10% uh, HP as well, which is nice to know. I never used to do that. Wow, that was a very quick kill there. Yeah, this thing's doing a very good job. Sacrifice first weapon mod. Yeah, yeah, why not? No, I don't want to go through yet. Okay, it doesn't matter. It was only fire on fire. It wasn't that important to us. A lot of poison and fire back there, but we got through it. Having the poison uh, froggies in here is kind of brutal. I like it. Nice, nice. What we got going on here? Super Spiral Yo-Yo Gun. A little less dangerous than Toxic Line, so I'll take it. Holy shit, that's a lot more years than I expected. Nice. That went pretty well. Um... Now this won't go anywhere near as well, because these these little freaks hit me all the goddamn time. Yeah, the dudes that stay super far away from you and just shoot crazy loads of shots at you. I find them very difficult. Luckily I have a weapon that's actually pretty good for killing them, to be honest. I'm able to stay mostly out of their line of fire and take most of them out. That went shockingly well. I um, don't think Rhino Skin really does much for us, but I'll take it. They yeah, saved us on this floor, at least. Okay, we do have the bush box. Shouldn't be that hard. Oh god, these guys, however... Kind of wasn't expecting those guys to be quite so difficult. There you go. Bushbox is dead. I killed sheep. For some overheal. Look at all these freaks back here. Luckily, like I said, easy targets for us, really. Nice. Sorted. Didn't go too bad at all. Strong Spirit seems like a really good thing for us right now, considering the 1 HP start. 
I'm, I'm just surprised more enemies aren't dropping HP as their first drop rather than dropping ammo. Would have expected to see more HP when I'm on one. But I guess it doesn't always work that way. Flare shotgun? Seems good for potentially overkill. I like it. Stayed at one HP that whole time there. How much ammo does this use? 49? Okay, it does use a, it does use a couple per shot. Okay. Maybe a little bit too much ammo spent there. Okay, I think the blood underneath it meant that it was a mimic there. I should pay attention to that. I think that's new to this mod. I don't think the vanilla normally does that. That was just me not knowing that that was a tell that existed when it is. Need a better secondary. The yo-yo gun, it, it, it's good, but obviously because it's all 360 around you, the range on it isn't great. Okay, all out of ammo on this now anyways. Flame cannon. Uses the same ammo, unfortunately. Ah, oh, bugger. Plasma shotgun. Anyways, I think we'll leave this episode there. Fun uh, character. I really like the ability to just have that elemental damage boosted. As I said, if the developer is watching this, please consider adding a mutation that does something similar. I'd, I think that a lot of ammo types have their own mutation and... Yeah, elemental isn't an ammo type per se, but it kind of is, and I'd like to see a way to boost it. It would also make weapon mods more lucrative, um, because you could sort of lean into what's been boosted. Now, you could do mutations specifically like one that makes lightning more powerful, one that makes fire, or you could just do one that makes everything elemental more powerful. It's kind of up to you. I guess uh, having multiple mutations for each one would dilute the pool a little too much. I'd also like to see a mutation that boosts something to do with explosives, because really the only mutation that has anything to do with it, you using explosives is probably boiling veins. I'd like to see one that, um, that like, m maybe it's like if you get a kill it returns a, p a portion of the ammo, or um, one that in increases the explosive radius, um, or... I don't know, there's, there's there's many different things you could do to make explosive weapons more viable, but yeah, I think there's definitely a mutation slot available for that. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.